Hi YouTube, this is her and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I just wanted to come and finish off the look. Um, this is the Laura Geller um, palette. Okay, um, I think I did an okay job with applying the liner. I see that gold is up there a little bit too much. But I'm not going to bother with it because you really can't see it, see it, but you can. Uh, I'm going to just take a little bit of this Mantic Cosmetics. And I'm going to... Okay. And so it looks a little bit more yellow on my chin because of the high pigmentation area here. And I'm holding my phone in my hand. I'm going in my with this Julia's Place brush. And I wish I could have really just, I'm not doing a whole lot of foundation. I really wish I could have just, uh, not mention the other products <laughs> then I could have posted this to my um minted brand ambassador post you know I could have done that but it's okay so is this minted um my shade <laughs> Because I think this is my winter shade. <laughs> That's what I think. And I know y'all see my gray hairs. Okay. I know y'all see it. And I'm off work. So I'm just coming in the break room. And I bought this iPad from uh, Walmart online. And it's one of the newer versions. Okay, it's one of the newer versions, the newer model. I mean the older the older ones. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, maybe. I'm trying to see. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't own the rest of that music, so we just gonna blend this minted in. So what y'all think? Y'all think this is my shade? I'm still in my I still see. high pigmentation I still see my skin through it and some people say what's the point you know to uh, actually wear a foundation it's supposed to cover I agree but for us gals us girls and gals who are not looking for a whole lot of coverage who like for some of our imperfections to peek through so that we can um, still look a little, la little natural, you know. Ain't that's what I fall back. I think I blended it really well in its shade M30. Wanna be one. W A N N A B E number one. Not hashtag one, just one. And it'll get you some extra coins off. And they just released. They just released some concealers. And I'm going to try the concealers. But I'm going to see if I can get them to send it to me. I'm trying to think they'll send it to me. This is called. Rosewood. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this is nice. It's not deep, deep enough, but it is. Yeah, yeah, here, crusty. Mm -mm. And it's called uh, Bodyology, and the shade is Rosewood, right there. And guess what I didn't bring? I did not bring, oh, yes I did, I brought it, the fancy yard. <laughs> Hold on, let me drop y'all up right there, right there. Y'all, I gotta get this weight off of me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love, this is my favorite shade. I gotta make sure I'm subscribed to Busy Yards website. Um. So when these go on sale again, because I bought these on sale, it's Granada. When these go on sale again, I will begin getting purchasing beignet. And I will be purchasing Granada again. Okay, so this is one of my favorite um, mascara, which I'm not a mascara girl, okay? And I don't wear mascara every day. So it's called Colossal Epic Lashes. It's snitching mascara this iconic London is a pretty good one too so iconic London was one of my favorites because of you see that okay and then I got this one in my slay glam box and um slay glam bag okay now this one it tastes forever in a day. Now see, and that one, I like this one too. It's a little fatter. And then I used the Laura Geller on yesterday. And this is the waterproof. So that's three different shapes. So what I do is, and they all smell like mascara. Okay. They all smell like mascara. <clears throat> So, let's do this. Sometimes I do that. I just place the wand and then blink my eyes to cover the lashes. Y'all see that? Because I hit myself in the eye a lot. And that helps cover. And with this mascara, y'all see these little bitty baby lashes? Come through, mascara. Come through. Okay. And then we're going to we're gonna go here. Okay. And we're gonna use this wand okay and this is supposed to be lash extension
Okay. And let me go off camera and finish the other eye. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see, uh, I'm not a mascara girl, but I do have some mascaras. Okay, and so this is what I'm always messing with this wig, y'all. Because eh, I need to wash it. I'm going to wash it when I get home. So these are my eyelashes. My real eyelashes. I think the look, the eyeshadow, I think it turned out pretty good. I think it turned out decent. What you think? Um, that Laura Geller is pretty, like I said, the shades that, that I use are very good for the melanated skin. Um, also the other shades, um, you may want to one and done those. This is the mascara, but you can just pretend like it's a mold. You can pretend like it's a mold. <laughs> so we're not gonna clean it up. So I put the Iconic London mascara on first. Okay. I put the Iconic London. Okay, I put the Iconic London Mascara on first and I've already showed you what that wand looked like. And what I really like about the Iconic London wand is it's a silicone applicator and it's very flexible. None of these mascaras that I have on when I wear them by themselves make my eyelashes hard. Sometimes when I wear mascara, it makes my eyelashes very hard and then my eyelashes feel like they are itching and I end up rubbing or pulling or yanking. So this Iconic London is one of the first mascaras that I use that I really, really, really could say that I liked. Would I repurchase that mascara? No, I got it out of a Boxy Charm or an Ipsy. I'm not a mascara girl. I'm not, so I would not purchase mascara. The only mascara that I actually purchased intentionally was the Urban Decay uh, what is it, Freakum or something? That's the only mascara that I actually purchased intentionally. Okay, so the next mascara that I received is this one right here by Laura Geller. And it's called the Always There Lengthening Waterproof Mascara. So I put this one on last because it's waterproof. And this, I, I use this Oakland colossal epic lashes extension because i wanted my lashes to look a little longer um it didn't do anything for extending my lashes are concerned but it did do something as far as adding another coat to my lashes so that they can be seen and then i went on top with the waterproof only because it says it's waterproof other than that there was no other reason why I put that particular mascara on. I also went in with the, as you see, the Mantic Cosmetics, which I am a brand ambassador, W-A-N-N-A-B-E-1. Wanna be one. It's my code, you can get extra coins off. And um, this is a foundation stick in shade M30. I may be moving towards M20 pretty soon. So, but y'all tell me what y'all think of M30. Do you think it's a good shade match? Do you think it's too light, too dark? Do um, you think the undertone is a little off? Because um, I'm coming into my winter shade and leaving my summer shade. And then also on my eyes, the video that's being posted now before this one, it's the Laura Geller um, Party in a Palette 
glamorous gathering for face palettes. So you have your crease, your lid, your um, inner corner, your outer corner. You have your blush and you have your highlight all in this palette and a liner all in that palette and in this box of four different palettes and there they are on the back i used the blue from the second palette then i went to the third palette and i used like the darker browns and the gold um lid shimmer shade and um yeah that's my look for today and i'm going home getting off work and I'm going to wash all of this off. Oh, on my lips, I used a Bodyology lip pencil in shade Rosewood. And then I got my Viseart Granada lip gloss and put on top. I hope I don't have no food and stuff in my teeth. If I do, I like y'all don't see it because, you know, this is just ratchet TV right here. So, thanks for watching. And I use my Juvia's Place brushes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up my video. Tell a friend, tell a friend about my channel. I love you for watching to the end. I don't know what it is about this eye. It's always going over here in this corner. When you gonna look straight? When you gonna look straight? When you gonna look straight? Thanks for watching. Even now, it's like it wanna goes over in the corner. And the camera is over here. Right here, right.